Hey everybody, I'm Nick with Drain My Lawn and today we are going to talk about catch basins and pop-ups. So you've heard of, if you've been looking at drainage, you've, been, you've heard of a pop-up emitter. Uh, what these are, are just uh, little elbows with a lid on them that pop up when water pressure builds and let the water out. So this pops up, lets the water out, and then once the water pressure is gone from the rain, it just comes back and it is nice and clean. You don't have to see, uh, you don't get mosquitoes coming out or anything like that. Um, you see this little green disc in your lawn and everything's nice and neat. Um, on the uh, bottom of the elbow, you'll see when you buy these as a kit and, or as a, as a system, uh, there's a little, uh, little hole at the bottom here. And that is a weep hole. That is made to hold extra water because um, a, the pipe, whenever you have an elbow like this, you will hold water in the system. It's just how it is. So um, it, it, if, you're, if your system's more flat, you're gonna have more water sitting in the system. If it's going downhill quite a bit, then you're only gonna have a little bit at the end. And this weep holes allow that extra water to, to, to uh, percolate out over time. And so what you do when you install these, um, you, uh, you, when you dig your hole, you dig it bigger than you need it to be, you line it with a geotextile fabric, and then you put a little bit of stone, maybe one shovel full or something like that in there, set it in, and that weep hole, well, that water will go out into there, uh, into that little drain field you've created, and this fabric will stop the, the mud from going in there and it, all mixing and getting uh, caked up, and your system should work properly. Now, um, these pop-ups, they're not screwed on, and the reason for that is, uh, if you ever get a backup or you get a clog, they need to pop off. They're made to do that, so don't worry about that. Sometimes after rain, you'll see these on the ground. It means you had a really heavy rain or you had a clog and the water pressure pushed it off, great. Did its job, just take it, snap it back on. Now, when you're at the store and you go to buy one of these for your, for your kit, uh, for your, your drain system, uh, make sure it has one of these. This is the, uh, if you have a corrugated system, um, you're gonna want this to attach to your corrugated system. Otherwise, you're gonna get home, you're gonna be right at the end of your system uh, installation, and you're gonna, you're gonna be very frustrated because uh, sometimes when you buy these, these, uh, these don't come with them, and they're next to it. So you'll see that this has a certain price, and then this is off next to it. So get yourself the corrugated, the PVC connection uh, adapter. Um, if it doesn't already have it on it, and you'll save yourself some headache. Now, catch basin. So normally, these things allow water to come in and they drain out and they catch debris at the bottom. However, you can use them the same exact way as a pop-up. Uh, this is a six inch catch basin with a lid. It does not pop, it does not, um, the lid does not uh, screw on, which is important. You don't want the, you don't want to screw it on. Uh, so if you're using a bigger catch basin with the screws, don't screw it on if you're using it as an emitter because if you do get a clog, it's gonna back up and back up your whole system. You want that lid to pop off if you need it to. So this is essentially, uh, can, be, can act the same way. They have about the same, uh, the, the same profile as far as how far up the water has to go. The difference with the catch basin is just that it has a different look to it. Um, you can see it from a distance, so you, don't, you can look in there walking by and see if there is any debris. Um, it's just a preference. It's also going to be more reliable because there's just this has a spring in it and there's something moving and if it doesn't move, you know, something can break. This thing, nothing is moving. So it's going to be, it's, it's not going to break. It can clog if you let or put something on top of it. Um, that can happen, but it won't break. So when you do this, though, um, if you're going to install a catch basin as a, an emitter, um, so it won't be a pop-up because it won't pop up, but if you're gonna do it, you're gonna install it the same way as this. You're going to, um, the only thing is that it doesn't come with holes already, so you're gonna drill a few holes at the bottom of this. And you're going to uh, dig your hole. You see this is much bigger as far as how down, far down you have to go. You line your bottom of your hole with some geotextile fabric, put a shovel of, of gravel there, put it down, fill it back in, and your exit, this is your exit now. Water will flow out of here. And then you can look in the debris. If there's any debris, it'll be sitting at the bottom of this catch basin. So if this has been helpful, uh, give us a subscribe or like, and uh, look at us, uh, check us out at 
drainmylawn.com. If you're in the Charlotte area and you'd like us to look at your drainage project, uh, you give us a call at 704-489-3444, and we'll go from there. Thank you.